Here's a topic I've covered before. That's like the 50% of the people that, uh, you know, are a uh, well, single parent household. And that's like if you had a kid and immediately got divorced, you'd want somebody to stay home and watch the kid. But then these welfare moms that have one kid after the other, you'd still want somebody to watch the kid but you really don't want the welfare mom to have one kid after the other just to get money, but still you want somebody to watch the kid, you know, do you want somebody that's home to watch the kid when they're a toddler, so I really don't know what to do. You want somebody to watch these newborn infants until they get to school, and you want somebody to watch them, you know, and you want the welfare mom to go to work during when school then, you don't want her just to be a welfare mom. You want her working during the school year. So I really don't know what to do. You want this welfare mom working during the school year. And I really don't know what to do because you don't want her just that sitting there pumping out kids one after the other. That's not the polite thing to say, but that's almost what they do. But like, you know, if you if you have a kid and almost would in matrimony and sometimes you'd get a divorce right after, you'd want to be able to, you know, be single parent of household, you'd want to be able to take almost immediately the time off from work and look after the kid until they got to school and then you'd go back to work because you wouldn't want the kid at home Without a parent supervision, you wouldn't want them in diapers with nobody there to watch them. So you'd be able to take, you know, if you got a divorce or if you weren't married, that, you know, sometimes that happens. If you're not married and, you know, you don't have a half a dozen kids if you're your first child, sometimes that happens. A teenager or whatever, maybe your second child, no more than two. Sometimes you make your second mistake, but that's about the time to get things fixed. I hate to say it, that, you know, and, you know, and that you shouldn't say it, but that's about the time to get things fixed when you have to. But, uh, and I shouldn't say what other people should do, but uh, when you shouldn't have two kids at home without parent supervision. Or maybe, maybe you can put them, I don't know, because it should be the parent watching them so they have love rather than just somebody that don't love them to watch them. And if you're a parent, you should love your kids. You shouldn't just be pushing them out there like a machine. And uh, sometimes when you have them, they're an accident, you know. But still, when they're an accident, you still love them. That's like... You believe in love, love at first sight when you have your child. And, uh, but when you have them, you should be able to stay at home to watch them until they're in school. And then when they get in school, go back to work, even if you're a teenager or younger. And you should be able to get a job at McDonald's at least, earning $60 an hour. Because McDonald's get paid $40 an hour to hire you. And be able to get get to work, and uh, and that's about the end of this. But I got to thinking, you know, and then you get three months off, and the kid gets out of school. So, but you know, but the welfare mom shouldn't get the, all this time off for being a wel welfare mom with a half a dozen kids, but still, the kid should have a parent at home to watch them when they come out. So I don't know what to do there, but thank you for listening if anybody's listening.